Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit yesterday. I have this website that I want to show you guys. I want to thank uh, Carol Tracy for uh, actually um, sending me that uh, email um, because uh, he's been uh, tracking weather balloons. Uh, so of course they emit radio signals. And I'm going to share this page. This page is uh, how to track National Weather Service weather balloons and radio sounds. And especially on the right side of your screen here, you'll see a video that is how to track and, um, and of course, find these uh, weather balloons. These are sent twice a day um, to, of course, um, take measures of the atmosphere. So it could be very interesting for anyone interested in trying different aspects of our hobby to check this out, I think. So um, I don't know what's wrong with that top of page here, but so a lot of stuff on this page to look at. I think it's going to be cool to uh, to learn more about it, and um, you'll be able to check out and hunt for weather balloons uh, and the um, and these um, with these tips. Um, the frequencies are around 400 and 400 to 407 megahertz with also some frequencies in the 1680 to 1700 megahertz so if you have capable capability of going at that high in frequency um so all sorts of little information here on how to track and uh so it's kind of interesting if you have an sdr like an rsb dx or a, an rsp 1a you can actually go up to these frequencies and try it so this is kind of cool and it's another aspect of our hobby and, um, you know, when we say there's nothing on, on VHF, UHF, scanner radios are useless, well, you might be surprised of all the little things that you don't know that are out there uh, to listen to. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and I'll share the link to this page in the description below the video.